Living next to a stream or river can be a wonderful experience. It provides wildlife, water, and scenery. But it also comes with special challenges. Erosion is one of these. It can cost you real estate, make access to the water difficult, and look just plain lousy. It also has substantial environmental impacts when all that soil enters downstream waters. Erosion happens naturally over time, but certain circumstances can make it worse, such as being on an outside bend, having high flow, or loss of bank vegetation. Engineers and natural resource professionals have come up with a variety of techniques to stabilize stream and river banks. There are several principles that are common in all of them. Always start upstream. If you fix the middle of an eroding stretch, it will be undermined as upstream erosion continues. Many times you must work with your neighbors as needed. You must stabilize the toe. Most erosion starts below the water surface. Any efforts that do not tie into the toe of the slope are much more likely to fail. You have to consider the forces. Techniques appropriate for a small stream and large river can be quite different. Know the flows and the water levels. Depending on the severity of the erosion, there are many different practices to choose from. Rock riprap is an effective technique, but also very expensive. A variety of other products and plant materials are available that can provide lasting protection. In many instances, multiple techniques are combined. With so many options to choose from, a visit with an engineer or natural resource professional is advised to help determine the right approach for your personal situation. They can also let you know about any financial help that is possibly available. Your watershed management organization or your local conservation district is a good place to start.